Hey, it's Justin and Bethany from the Flack Fam, and today we're bringing you along on a quick fall weekend getaway to our family cabin. Typically, I say Utah has three seasons, winter, mud, and sweltering. Sometimes though, Mother Nature teases us with a little bit of spring or fall, but typically they don't last that long. Luckily for us this year, we got to see a fall like we haven't seen in a while. So what better time to escape to the cabin and take it all in? If you've been following us for a while, you've seen this location before. It's a gorgeous little getaway in the Uinta Mountains of Northern Utah, a little slice of heaven. Fall colors didn't disappoint. From bright yellow and deep reds, it was like living in an oil painting or an oversaturated photograph. Like we said, it was a short trip and I wish we could have stayed longer, but Justin had been in Washington and Oregon on a business trip and didn't fly home until late Friday night. So we drove up bright and early on Saturday morning and decided to stop by Mirror Lake Diner, not far from the cabin. We love this diner. In fact, we might have shown it before. We first came here for the Monte Cristo sandwiches, but continue to come back for the rest of their amazing food and their friendly service. Seriously, they treat you like family. Almost everyone knows each other, and even if you don't, they make an effort to get to know you. Another thing that makes this diner fun is the way it's decorated. All of the photographs on the walls are shot by local photographers and are for sale. for framed pictures they have coffee table books full of pictures taken in the surrounding areas local pottery t-shirts and other fun things Justin really liked this mug and almost bought it who knows maybe it'll be a Christmas present oh really I love throwing pots myself and I really respect people who do it well a handcrafted mug bowl or pot that isn't mass-produced something that you can see the imperfections or the personal touch in is always going to catch my eye just a tip for your Christmas shopping after a delicious breakfast Breakfast, we wanted to enjoy the colors we had been seeing from the car on our drive up. So we decided to go for a walk around the cabin. We often play in this creek and in the river on the other side of our cabin in the heat of summer. So we decided to go on a walk, but on the way back, we would walk through the creek. Don't ask me why I was dying to do this. Maybe it's nostalgic. Maybe I thought our girls would think it was fun. Or maybe I thought it would numb away my plantar fasciitis or Justin's issues with his Achilles tendon. Oh, oh. Step in. Why is it that when you get in the water and you're freezing cold and all of a sudden you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> you can hear it. You want to pee and make the water a little warmer. <laughs> Everyone does stand by dad loves me too. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> no, you're not. It would suck if you fell right here yeah. the last minute. Yeah, it Puppies! Hi, baby! It wasn't quite as fun as you remembered, was it? The girls thought we were absolutely crazy. In fact, Abby got in for one second and then immediately got out because of how cold it was. Ultimately, it was a lot of fun and the shock of the cold wore off after our legs went numb. Regardless, we had a blast even though it took a while for us to warm up. Hi, Nala. Sniff. Sniff. <laughs> Oh good. <laughs> but we did warm up just in time to see some deer from the back porch. Nella and Keita were enamored by them and stared at them until they walked away. That night we grilled steaks, baked potatoes, and got downright full. I'm going to be honest, I went into a food coma and I don't really remember what we did the rest of that night. 
But what I do remember is laying down in bed, getting warm, and then being woken up by Kita because she thought it was time to wake up at 5.50 on a Sunday morning. Kind of reminds me of Lady and the Tramp. It did give me time to get the drone ready for a sunrise flight over the fall colors. I use our drone, but not as much as I'd like because of the restrictions that we run into in places we travel. So every time I get a chance to fly it, I have about 10 to 15 minutes of relearning where I get comfortable flying and then I get hungry to get creative with it. gorgeous shots and then Justin wanted to get one taking off from the back porch and flying up and away while staying fixed on the cabin. I watched as he launched it from his hand and positioned the drone. Then I watched as he piloted backward away from us. I was having a hard time seeing exactly where it was but I knew something wasn't right and just as I said I think it's going to hit that tree, Justin crashed the drone into a very tall cottonwood. This is embarrassing, even more embarrassing because I had thought this was a possibility and I had told myself that I needed to get enough elevation to clear the trees on the other side of the creek. We have a first generation DJI Mavic Pro and that particular drone doesn't have rear facing obstacle avoidance. So I have to be very careful flying in reverse by making sure to watch the drone itself more than the shot I'm getting. But that's hard because I want to make sure the shot is framed the way we want it. I've never really had a problem with this even flying in and out of slot canyons in southern Utah. But no excuses this time I epically failed. Thank goodness the drone didn't get completely wrecked because the GPS helped us find the general area of the crash and then we had Olivia yelling to us from the cabin to tell us where to go. In the end we found it. Will it fly again? Not with those props. But the drone itself seemed okay and you can most likely fix anything that may go wrong with it, right? Maybe, or maybe wrecking it was planned so we can get a new one. Oh, is that what happened? I think we might need to talk after this. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed sharing this beautiful fall weekend with us and that you'll take time to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Thanks guys! Bye!